Hi guys, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. So in today's video, it's going to be um, two parts. I am going to finally announce the giveaway. It has been a week and today is the day that I will announce the winner. I'm gonna go over what it is that you are going to get and then the other half of the video is going to be my budgeting for my last paycheck. But I don't wanna do this until the end because I know you guys wanna know. So the winner for this giveaway is Diana De La Paz. Congratulations, Diana. I will leave your name right here so that you know who I'm talking about. Um, congratulations. So you will be getting this budget book of stickers. Adorable, adorable stickers. You are also going to get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. And you're gonna get this beautiful, beautiful planner that you can use however you'd like very beautiful and you're going to get this lovely little plant that i absolutely love i hope that you enjoy it so congratulations thank you so much to everyone who participated a definitely definite goal of mine is to um reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year and if i reach 2,000 subscribers i am definitely going to do two giveaways because I just love all you guys' suggestions and I love you guys, really. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So I wanna be able to give more. So I told myself if I reach 2,000, I'm gonna do two giveaways. So hopefully that day will come and you guys can get your turn on winning something special. I absolutely love to give back to you guys. So I hope, Diana, that you enjoy this. Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you to everyone who participated. So um, the best way would be, I'm gonna leave the details in the description, but to just contact me on my, um, on my email. Or if you have Instagram, you can DM me on my Instagram. That will probably be the fastest and easiest, but if you don't have it, you can just email me, um, and then we can take it from there. So thank you so much. So now that we have the beautiful giveaway done with, did I just show my elbow? Because I did blood work this morning. <laughs> I had to do blood work, you know, pregnancy stuff. Anyway, alrighty, so let's get to the video which I had already filmed, so I'm just going to jump right into that one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and hello and welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Mary, I make videos budgeting my paychecks every week. So in today's video, it might be a little bit longer because I had, I had done my breakdown for my paycheck and it looked like it was gonna go smooth and then like a few little things popped up. So I felt like it kind of messed me up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys what I had originally budgeted for. And then I'm going to share with you how I'm going to pretty much just kind of tweak things around in my budget. So that's why I say this video might take a little longer because I'm just gonna kind of think through it as I go. I haven't really like fully, um, figured out how I'm gonna tweak it. So I'm like, you know what, let me film it and let's just see how it goes. <laughs> so let me just show you what I had originally budgeted for and how it went, cause I felt like it was like smooth and then like, I don't know, then I got all confused. So, again, let me show you guys what I originally had budgeted for. <clears throat> so we have my car, which was 309. My cell phone is 80 um gas 37 i ended up calling navient because i was paying the minimum but i asked if i can put it on hold um, and they were able to do so because of covid and everything so i was able to hold it off for a few months um just so that we can have more money on our side to um to go towards paying off the car which is like our next goal right now so navient is on hold um, FPL is 63. Disney I called as well and it's still on hold. I believe they open July they said. So it's still on hold until next month. So they haven't been, I have the annual pass um, holder. So um, we get deducted I think like 50 or 60 something dollars a month but that's just been on hold because of COVID again. Um, and then car gas is going to be 80. Groceries, I budgeted 120, tied to 72, and then Sun Pass is 50. 
So then I went on to my sinking funds and I thought, all right, I have money for some sinking funds, not everything, but a few. Um, so let's see, we have Christmas. That is 50. And then I mentioned in my last video that we took out some money from our savings to furnish our home because we never really completed um, like the living room and dining room. So, which by the way, I got my couch because I am obsessed with my couch. Couch was like a huge big deal for us because we've never really had one, like a very comfortable, like legit couch. Um, anyway, so very excited because we got it. Um, but anyway, so with that being said, we have a budget still of $300 to finish buying a few more things that we wanted. And then I budgeted a little bit for me because I officially do not fit into anything that I own and I have been prolonging buying clothes because of saving money and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, it's time for me to go and buy some clothes that fit. So I'm gonna do it little at a time. So I just budgeted 45 to just go and buy some, some dresses really, because that's just all I wanna wear is like, I don't even wanna wear jeans, it's just more comfortable. And I saw that Target this week has a sale. I think their dresses are like $10, certain dresses. I think they're like t-shirt dresses or something like that. So I might go and buy a couple. Um, and then baby is going to be 20. So what I withdrew, actually, withdraw, someone said I spelled it wrong. I didn't notice. Sometimes I write so fast that I don't notice how I'm spelling. So thank you for correcting me. I think that's how you spell it. <laughs> if not, correct me again. Um, Okay, so what we are going to withdraw is doo -doo -doo -doo, is car gas. Uh, that's it up there. And then all of these sinking funds. Okay, so when I totaled it up, which I'm not gonna do the math like I usually do because I already did because I wanna skip to me actually like figuring this out. Um, when I did the math, I was going to end up with drawing 635. And that was gonna leave me with a balance of $1.94 until next paycheck. Okay, that was all great. And then, as the days went on, I noticed that we were short and I'm like, how can we possibly be short? Everything was accounted for. So I went back, I rolled down every transaction that I saw in my bank statement, I matched it with this, and let me write what popped up. I feel like I wanna do this separate. Let's see here. Okay. So now let's let's split this. So let me show you what popped up. First of all, there was a um, Amazon purchase. Amazon of oh I I missed one. I'm missing one. Oh no no I put it. no yeah I did I am missing one. Where is that? Babe, babe, I forgot about you. Okay, so babe, which is hubby, was going to get 140. Okay, so babe gets 140 because we bought something for the house, but we used his personal money for it. So that's why he's gonna get his 140 back. Um, so now let me just highlight this. So this is part of what I am withdrawing. Okay, so I wrote everything down here just so that the video isn't way too long for you guys. Um, so these are all the changes and things that came up after I did my budget. So Amazon, there was a transaction that we made. It was 144, let's just say 145. So this one is really the one that kind of threw me off because 
it didn't show up in my bank statement until after I had budgeted. So this should have been included, but again, it didn't pop up until after, so I didn't see it. So that kind of messed me up. And then some passed, there was a $10 um, with or transaction, and that's because I have my thing on um, automatic, automatic something? I forgot the word, where they just automatically withdraw. Um, every time my balance is low, they take away $10, so that's why I wanted to replenish it with 50. But I guess um, it was still, not still, but I guess it was to the point that it was low, so they charged me $10 before I was able to replenish it. Um, and then these are other transactions that we did on Amazon. One in specific, this one, is for the house. And that one I really didn't see them um, charging until a few weeks from now because it wasn't gonna be ready until like a month from now. And usually they won't charge you until it's ready to be shipped. But it's actually coming way ahead of time, so they already charged me. So that was something I didn't count for. And then these are just, the other two are just transactions that um, are for stuff that my husband is paying with his personal money, so he was just gonna put it back into the account. Um, and then we went out to eat and we paid with a debit card, so I have to make sure that I get money from our fund day envelope because it's in cash, um, and just put it back into the bank and replenish the $40. And then we sold our couch because, like I said, we bought our new one. So we sold our couch for $150. And then we got a refund for $296 from Disney's um, Mickey's Mary that we were supposed to go last year, but it was canceled because of the weather. And we were going to go this year, but because of everything with COVID and everything, we're not even sure if we're going to go back this year. So we just ended up getting our uh, money back for that. So anyway, so these are all the little things that popped up after I budgeted. So has that ever happened to you? I'm just curious, like do you ever do your budget, everything is accounted for, and then all of a sudden like all these little things pop up. And so this is what I am going to tweak around now and just kind of work into my cash envelopes. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. I just thought it would be interesting because things like this just happen when you budget. Um, things just don't always go as smooth and as planned. So I, I don't know, I kind of wanted to just show you guys what, um, what kind of hiccups I went through this week for, with my budgeting, and I guess how I'm just going to rearrange it. So anyway, I hope you find it interesting. If not, let me know. I don't have to include it every time things like this pop up. Um, usually I fix these things after I budget. If something pops up, I obviously just adjust it. I just thought I would show it this time around. But anyway, so that was that. So now I have all this money that I took out and now I have to properly adjust according to everything that happened here. So one big thing, like I noticed, everything is still pretty much counted for except this because at the end of the day, I saw that I only had 300 in my account, and that was basically gonna be the Disney refund, and I wanna get that money out because I wanna put that money into um, paying the principal of our car, so I definitely want to remove that, but then I was left not having any groceries, um, the 120 that I budgeted for groceries. I hope you can see. So that's what got me thinking like, what happened? How is it that I don't have money for my groceries when I budgeted 120? And that's because of these little things that popped up. So I'm just going to fix it. So let's see here. I think I'm gonna keep this here and I'm just going to fix it as I go. So I know that for sure I wanna take out 296, which actually I'm just gonna round it up to 300. Um, I think I have like a few singles in my coin jar, so I might just take that out and just complete the 300, or I'm probably just gonna take it from here and then whatever difference, I'll just use that little bit of cash that I have from my coin jar. Um, but I am just going to round this to round, round to 300. and use towards paying car. 
towards car principal. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any hundreds? Have one. And then two and three. So 300 is going to go towards my car. And I actually wanted to make a note. So I am going to put this, because I don't have an envelope and I want to make an envelope now um, to have any extra cash to pay towards the principal of the car. So in the meantime, I'm just going to make a note that this is Disney refund. Use towards car principal. Okay, so that is that. I'm gonna make a little check mark so I know that I already handled that situation. Um, some pass was already taken out of my account, so I just have to make up for that. This is what I have to make up for which I already did by the way. So I already took everything out and I currently have the 120 for my groceries. I'm just gonna lower my groceries to, which I know that I can cause we are, we are, we pretty much still have a lot of food. It's just buying like chicken and stuff. Um, so I am going to lower to, cause I don't like leaving my account at zero. I like to at least leave a couple of dollars. So I'm just gonna lower it to, I don't know, 110, leave $10 at least. So I'm gonna budget for actually 110 this week because I haven't done groceries yet. Um, and that'll leave me with $10 in the account just, just as a little cushion, little comfort cushion there. Okay, so that's that. So that's currently what I have going on. Um, chilies, that is from Fun Day. So I'm gonna take it out of Fun Day. And I'm actually going to add this into my pile of money that I have no idea how I'm going to really split right now. <laughs> okay, so 300 went to that. Um, chilies, I already put back into the big pile. And then, um, okay, so let's just take it, let's just take it from over here now. I'm sorry if this is confusing. This is just how my, my mind works. Um, but anyway, sorry if it's confusing, but let's just see how this goes. All right, so let's just start from back here. So gas is still gonna, is still gonna get $80. So two, four, six, eight. I want to make sure I have for gas. Um, so Babe, he was going to get his 140 back, but he ended up buying um, a couple of more things on Amazon, which is actually this over here and this over there. So these two, um, so instead of giving him the 140, it's just, we're not, we're not going to do that because he already purchased some stuff with the money that was still in the account. So that takes care of that. Okay. Some pass, like I said, it was already taken care of. It's just $10. All right. So now we have car gas. So we have cash out for that. Christmas is going to be $50 to $40. I should probably fix this first, right? This is driving me crazy. Even though this is like such a mess, I I love budgeting. Like I love figuring things out. <laughs> Even though it gets confusing sometimes and you're like, what is going on? Like, where is my money going? How come this is different than how I budgeted or whatever? I like figuring it out and then I like handling it. So we're handling it. We're handling it. Okay, and I have a random dollar. Why do I have a random dollar? I don't know. We'll see where that goes. <laughs> okay, 
So, took care of gas. Christmas is gonna get its 50, so that's 40. And I have 40, 45, 50. Okay, so Christmas. All right, our house budget. So our house budget is 300, but remember that we have the 55 um, that was already taken out of those 300. So 300 minus 55. That's 245. So that's really, so what we have left really is 245. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and five. So this is for the house, our house budget. So now that takes care of that transaction that happened, and over here. Okay. Um, and then I wanted 45 to buy clothes, like I need money to buy clothes. So 20, 40, 45, 20, 40, 45. So that takes care of me. And then for baby funds, this one is 20. 20 for baby. Okay, and then you were, that's take, okay, so all of my sinking funds are taken care of. Groceries I have in the bank, 120 that I lower to 110. Car gas is taken care of. All of these bills have been paid online already. Um, so let's just put a big check mark there. Just so I know all this has been taken care of. And then, uh, babe, we said he doesn't get it back because he ended up buying these two, so that's taken care of. So now, we have these two. How much do we have left? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six. So I have $186. Now, $150, if you can see down here, oh yeah, look at that. $150 is what we got from our couch. So that's what this is. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then 20, 40. I don't have another five. 40. So I'm just gonna leave it at 145. I'm gonna leave it at 145. How about that? No, okay. All right, so what I'm thinking, so this is pretty much what I have left over. And I know 150 from here is from what we got from the couch. So what I think I wanna do is probably, I feel like I have all this extra money then. So all this extra money is gonna go towards wherever I want it to go. So I can look through all of my sinking funds, see if I can, okay, so this is where, this is where it's up to you what you wanna do. So you have all this money left, which again, in my case, it's because of the couch and I don't know what extra, um, but everything is accounted for. After I know that everything is accounted for, everything that needs to get paid, all of the main stuff is taken care of, then I can, we can decide if we want to split this into all of our sinking funds or if we wanna put it towards debt. What I'm thinking I wanna do is I know 150, that was extra money for us, so I definitely wanna put that towards the car. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 100, and then two, four, two, four, and I think six, just because it's 150, but I can't break it to 150. So I'm just gonna put 160, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six. So 160, I'm gonna to put towards the car principal. So 
So I'm gonna put here 300 is from Disney and 160 is from Couch. Okay, and this is gonna go towards principal of the car. Nice, so that means two, so it's 300 plus 160. So I have $460 that's gonna go towards the principal of the car. So that's that. So now I'm really left with 20, 25, I'm left with $26. What do I wanna do with $26? I don't know. Maybe buy myself some more clothes. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna buy myself some more clothes because <laughs> I really need clothes. Um, so yeah, all right. So that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could put it towards gifts for more like Father's Day stuff, but I really wanna buy clothes. All right, guys, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, so I'm just gonna leave this to the side. I'm gonna get all of my envelopes, and I will be right back to stuff all of this cash. All right, guys, so I have my envelopes that I'm gonna be stuffing. So let's start from the beginning again. So two, four, six, oh yeah, everything's not in order. I should probably put it in order. Okay, let's do that really quick. All right, so we have two, four, six, eight. That is going to go towards gas. Okay, and then Christmas gets 50 to 40, 45, 50. Okay, and then the house is 300, but I already have that set aside. Uh, I'm gonna get 45, so two, do I have that set aside or is this part of it? No, this is part of it, isn't it? I'm not sure. Um, 45 is gonna be for me, so 20, 40, Okay, and then baby is gonna get 20. Okay, yeah, I think the rest is for um, for the house. Um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, eight, 10, 20, 25, 30. 20, 25, 30. What did I put? 245. Why did I do that? Let me see. 300 minus 55 is 245. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 200. Oh, is that why? I thought I had extra money, but I didn't. 200 and then 20, 30, 35. So I shortened myself $10. So 235 is what I have for the house. All right, 235. And this random dollar is gonna go here in my little coin jar. I haven't used this coin jar in a while, but it's getting there. I just put singles and change. Okay, so I thought I was gonna have extra money that I was going to put towards fun day. 
That's so weird that that worked out that way. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, so no fun day. And this is gonna go towards the house, which I just need to make an envelope for. In the meantime, I will put it here. So 235 for the house. And that's just cause we took the money out so that we don't keep spending without noticing. Um, everything that we wanted to buy online, we pretty much did. So from now on, if we buy any little like decorations or things, it's probably just gonna be cash. So we just wanted to have it in handy. Um, but that's that. So that is the money for the house. This is money for, uh, to pay towards the car principal. So this is just like extra savings. One, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten, four, two, four, six. Okay, so that's that. The only thing now is, I don't know what I counted before. I guess I'll know when I review this video is I thought that I did this correctly and I had 245, but really I had 235 and I don't have money for, I don't have extra money. So I will look back and I will see what I did. But this has been really interesting. At least I think so. So let me know what you guys think of this kind of video. It's pretty much, I'd say like a behind the scenes of budgeting because <laughs> this is really like very detailed into my thought process how I figure things out and as you can see I still like make mistakes so don't be hard on yourself if you are budgeting and you get frustrated and numbers don't add up you're only gonna get better with time and the more that you do it and learn from your mistakes and notice little things like I'm noticing the more you'll be aware on how to correct it. So let me know what you guys think of these type of videos. I actually enjoy doing it, but let me know if it was just too much for you or too complicated. I can always go back to just doing my budget and then, you know, whenever I have hiccups, I usually, like I said, just fix it on the side. But if you guys like to see how I fix it, I'd be more than happy to include that once in a while. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.